So you can, we'll go ahead and spend a little advertising. Again, this helps with uh, the fan base and the sales of the game. So hopefully it'll help enough to make up for the cost in advertising. We'll see. Don't have any way of telling for sure, so. Ah, a little friend's coming by. I actually was expecting him to come. Anyways, we'll get to him in a second. <laughs> Why not? We'll just call this one Noah's Ark. Because, like, yeah, that's a shitty game too, right? Okay. Even though the um, the game's quality is better, it got like a lot worse reviews. So yeah, the console reviewers, are, I guess, are a little more strict. <laughs> okay. So anyways, while we're waiting for that game to sell a little bit, we're gonna do another contract and just so happens character design is the highest paying one again. So let's do it. So anyways, the reason why I like this guy is because he sells you all kinds of items. You can use these items to boost your different stats and whatnot. Um, we are using research data. Or you can use Deadpool, which energizes your staff. So they won't uh, leave. And this one is the most important one, the career change manual. You need this one in order to change careers for your staff and to boost them up. So we're going to buy a bunch of those. I'm a big fan of the career change manual, so... Alright, so the radio ad was a little bit extra effective. That's going to help with the sales. Let's take a look at the sales as they are right now anyways. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> uh, this game's a real stinker. Oh, okay, never mind, the bar reset. Okay, I guess that was like the first day sales. <laughs> okay, best way to increase the number of game types you have is to train your employees. So, yeah, um, like I mentioned earlier. I guess Noah's Ark selling a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I guess the console, being on console instead of PC definitely helps. We're definitely cutting our losses so far, at least. Hmm. This, you can kind of tell if what you're doing really made a difference or not. We've set a sales record. Not hard to do. <laughs> um, let's see. It's tough to say if this game, this game may ultimately be... Well, I, I did buy those career change manuals too, so I guess the game overall did profit... So I spent 150 grand on those. So we're made like 100 and 110 grand so far off this game after everything we spent on it. Plus we just made some money from doing this contract. And now that we've got that done, we got a little bit of money. I'm going to go ahead and hire some more staff. We're going to do the online ad this time. And we're going to do another contract war waiting for staff. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the pinball movie because why not? And we're just going to save this research data for after we hire new staff. So I want to hire a graphics person and a sound person. We'll fire whoever's the weakest link out of everybody. Okay. So let's see. New Ownerton is not being hired. You're not being hired. Or definitely hired Android. Or, well, I don't know. She's got a little bit lower energy, but she is a sound person. We need her more than Chuck, so I'm going to go with her. But we're definitely hiring. Oh, crap. I didn't anticipate that. Um, like an idiot. Okay. I didn't anticipate that I didn't have enough money to uh, hire people once I got on board with them. So, yeah. We'll get rid of Espresso. OK. 
Okay. And I don't think we can hire anybody else. Because the guy I want is too expensive right here. Shigeto Minamoto. <laughs> so, yeah. That's okay. We've got a new staff member. That's always good. And we're going to go ahead and level her up. Because she's our best player in power rankings right now. You have to have level 5 to max out a class. So I try to keep everybody on the same class until they max out, and then use the career change manual. For whatever reason, the music stops. It does that in the real game, too, for some dumb reason. Nobody really knows why. Could be due to the fact that this was ported over from flip phone games, so that's my bad at least. We're cutting a little close on this pinball movie project. We could possibly fail it. So let's hope that doesn't happen. We got the sound ratings up, so we just need to get uh, a couple more points in graphics. Ah, uh, we barely made it. Okay, so that gave us some money. Now we'll just need to uh, develop a uh, another new game for the Exodus. Got a couple new genres, as I mentioned before. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with another racing title, I believe. It maybe, we'll see. Eh, maybe not. A robot shooter game. Sounds good to me. Let's do this. So we're going to change it because we're making a game that's not cute. <laughs> we're making something else here. Let's give it a little polish. Okay. So here we go. We only have one rider on staff right now. so, um, But we don't have any money to do anything here so we're just going to use the same person don't have much of a choice there <laughs> i like how they say fight at the beginning of the game's development you know like a playoff mortal kombat i guess So yeah, this is the game here. It's a um, pretty basic game, but it's really addictive. Like, I mean, obviously, it is designed for mobile phones. You know, it's probably not the best game to play on your computer, per se, because it's not really designed for it. But I really enjoy this game. It's pretty fun. And no denying that. So we got a good sound person. Maybe we'll have an okay sound rating that could help with the reviews of the game. So yeah. And we don't have any money to hire anybody but Steve Kingley. So, hopefully he doesn't give us complete shitty graphics like people would expect from an LGN game. He's actually given us a pretty solid set for only costing 10 grand. It is worth the 10 grand, I'd say. Without a doubt. All right, got some free cash. Yeah, it's a good idea to actually get low in cash at some point so you get that 150 grand because it helps out every little bit. And if you ever want to look back at some stuff, you know, you can look back at like this. You know, this will tell you what your sales rankings were, and you can look at uh, other stuff right here. You know, there's a lot of little graphs and things like that you can look at. And 
And it's a good thing that we did get that extra cash because I got to spend it on advertising, you know? Uh, Android could have done a little better for her debut game, but what can you do?